Our next example will compare a linear function to an exponential function. The bar graph shows the number of monthly text messages in the United States in billions from 2002 through 2007. The data can be modeled by the functions f of x equals 5.3x minus 14.7, which is linear, and g of x equals 0.14 times 2.14 to the x power, which is exponential, where f of x and g of x model the number of monthly text messages in billions x years after 2000. What is the slope of the linear model? What does this mean in terms of the change in number of monthly text messages? Well, looking back at the linear model, we see that we have a slope of 5.3. So we can say that the slope, m, equals 5.3. We can interpret this to mean there's an increase of 5.3 billion text per year. This is, remember, a change in y over a change in x. Our y value, notice, was going to be giving us the number of monthly text messages. Our x value gave us years. So our units, billion texts per year. Based on the shape of the graph, which function, the linear or the exponential, is a better model for the data? Explain your answer. Well, let's look back at our shape. We notice that we start off and it doesn't increase very rapidly and then all of a sudden we see what is typically described as exponential growth. This certainly does not look linear. So we can say that it looks like the exponential model would be better. Use each function to find the number of monthly text messages in billions in 2007. Where necessary, round to one decimal place. Then answer this. Which function serves as a better model for 2007 and is this consistent with your answer in part B? So we're going to look at our two functions. f of x equals 5.3x minus 14.7 is our linear model. g of x equals 0.14 times 2.14 to the x power is our exponential model. We're going to be evaluating what occurs in 2007 by substituting the value of 7 for x. So this is going to be 5.3 times 7 minus 14.7. And for g of x, we're going to have g of 7 equals 0 0.14 times 2.14 to the x to the seventh power, that is. Evaluating the linear function gives us f of 7 equals 22.4. For the exponential function, g of 7 equals 28.8. Now let's look back at our actual chart. And what we saw earlier was that in 2007 we had a value of 28.9. So we can see that in this instance we're going to have the exponential function as a better estimate. And that does correspond to what we noticed when we looked at the shape of the graphs.